Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make this Deathly Hollows wall hanging that says Merry Christmas, you filthy muggle. The supplies that you'll need are four 12 inch wooden dowels, one 7 inch circle plaque, twine, hot glue in a glue gun, brown chalk paint, white chalk paint, sandpaper, two paint brushes, a wide and a fine tip, and one pencil. For the first step, take brown chalk paint and you'll need to paint four wooden dowels and a wooden circle plaque. I got all of these at Walmart for a couple dollars. Once the chalk paint dries, you want to take some sandpaper and rough it up a little bit. Make sure that you get all of the edges of your circle. I feel like it gives it a nice look. For the next step, you need to glue your wooden dowels together, forming the cape of your Deathly Hallow symbol. Then you glue the last wooden dowel on underneath on the back side of the cape to represent the Elder Wand. It also creates a good base to rest the wooden circle plaque on. There will be about an inch extra on top of your symbol and it's okay because it's going to get covered with twine. Once the base of your Deathly Hollow symbol is glued together, take your twine and start wrapping it around the top point using hot glue to secure it on the back. Once you have the ends of the dowel covered, use a generous amount of hot glue to secure it, but only put the hot glue on the back. At the bottom of the Elder Wand, wrap a small amount of twine to reinforce the connection, and then cover the back with glue just like you did at the top. Now move on to the bottom points of your Deathly Hollow symbol. Use a generous amount of twine to cover the dowels, and again use hot glue to secure the twine so it doesn't slip off the end and then repeat this on the other side. Next, take your circle plaque and put a line of hot glue down the center and attach it to the middle dowel. Then, take your glue gun and add extra hot glue to the back. You want to also put glue on the sides where the plaque and the dowels touch and then let it dry. I used my phone to look up the Harry Potter font and I did my best to copy it onto a piece of paper to practice. I think it would have been nice to say Happy Christmas, you filthy muggle, instead of Mary, but I don't regret putting Mary. Then I used a pencil and I drew my letters onto the plaque. You can't see the pencil markings on camera, but they show up fine in real life. Then I took my Waverly chalk paint and I painted the letters onto my plaque. I ended up doing two coats of paint. If you have one of those fancy machines that cut out letters for you, you could use that. I don't have one, so it's old school freestyle around here. For a finishing touch, I added three Harry Potter stars from the books onto the bottom. Once it dried, I went over my letters one more time and I did a few touch ups. The final step is to glue a loop of twine to the back tip of your Deathly Hollow symbol, and then you're done. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'm happy to answer them. And have a great week!